Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be trying out the brand new e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over social media. I'm pretty sure if this is not already, this is gonna be the next viral product and e.l.f. always kills it, so I have high hopes for this. I just got this in the mail literally 30 minutes ago and I'm like, I have to film with this, of course, immediately. So I wanna do a little dupe comparison and see how this compares to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, which is very known and loved in the beauty community, but this is definitely Really comes with a hefty price point. I love this product, but if I can find a dupe, I'm here for it because the price difference on both of these is very significant. So we're going to try it out and I'm basically going to do my everyday makeup routine, but this is going to be the base underneath and I'm going to do a wear test and see if we have a dupe on our hands. Grab a snack, get cozy, and let's get into it. So starting off with e.l.f. first, again, this is the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. So it's a booster for radiant skin, essentially. If you guys are not familiar with a product like this, there's a couple different ways that you can use this. So I'm going to pull it up right on their website. So this says it's a multi-purpose liquid glow booster infused with skin loving ingredients to give your complexion a soft focus social filter effect in real life. And this, you can use it alone. You can wear it over or under makeup. You can mix it with your foundation or you can use it as a highlighter. Comes in eight different shades and there's also squalene and hyaluronic acid in it. So it's supposed to be very hydrating and for all skin types. So I got two different shades. I ended up going with medium and light medium. I'm definitely going to use light medium today, but medium I think would be perfect if I had a much better tan than I do now and also in comparison to the amount of product you actually get more in the elf one so this one from Charlotte Tilbury is one fluid ounce and then the one from elf is 1.06 fluid ounce so you get a little bit more wow the applicator on the elf product is huge like it's literally ginormous let me compare it to the one from Charlotte Tilbury so it's pretty big but the one from elf is actually bigger and this one from Charlotte Tilbury I thought was pretty big but this one is like massive from e.l.f. So I actually really do like that. All right, let's try it out. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. one on this side. We're going to do one swipe, two swipes. I'm also going to put a little bit right under my eyes because that's what the TikTok girlies are doing. So I'm going to do it. And to blend this out, I'm going to use my Haley's Beauty Brilliant Kabuki brush. And then on the other side, I have another one and I'm going to do the same thing. Same brush. All right, let's blend this out. Okay, first of all, coverage. Like, did you just see that? This has a little bit of like a tint to it. Like literally like a skin tint, but it's so glowy. This definitely just enhanced my natural skin for sure. I don't know if this is marketed to have any coverage in it, but I feel like it definitely gave me a little bit, like a little bit of coverage. I'm gonna go on their website and see what it says. Okay, so it doesn't mention anything about coverage, but it does say that it's a complexion booster and it's supposed to enhance the overall look of your skin, which I 100% agree with. This looks so good. Honestly, I'm gonna do more. I'm gonna put some on my forehead. I'm gonna put some right here just to show you. Blends really easily. Like first impression, it blends just like the one from Charlotte Tilbury. It makes your skin look pretty. Like, you just woke up like this and you're just glowing to the gods. Elf? No elf. So glowy, and I actually like applying that under the eyes as well. I think that's a really pretty little addition. So that is what it looks like. Super glowy and fresh. Definitely enhances your skin and it almost like evens everything out and just makes it look like pretty. Like literally like you just woke up like this. Like your skin is just naturally glowy and fresh. But also this has a little bit of coverage like a skin tint because I had that little pimple there. It was like a little scar at this point but it covered it up like completely but it's still natural. So it's not obviously not going to be like a BB cream or like a foundation, but I feel like it does give your skin an enhancement, kind of like a skin tint would, but it also has that glow factor in it, which I love. So, um, yeah, this is going to be, I already know my new favorite everyday product. Now on the other side, we're going to go in with Charlotte Tilbury. And the one that I have on this side that I'm going to use is 4.5 medium. So the undertones on both of these are different. So just something to keep in mind. I thought this was going to be actually a little bit more on the peachy side when I applied it, but I feel like it's not as peachy as I thought and it's actually a little bit more neutral. But now let's go in with the Charlotte Tilbury on the other. First impressions, right off the bat, the one from e.l.f. is a little bit thicker than the one from Charlotte Tilbury. This one has a little bit more of a thinner consistency. Again, on the other side, I'm going to use a different brush. I 
Wow. I mean, obviously Charlotte Tilbury is flawless. It's so beautiful as well. I love that glow. But I mean, come on, e.l.f. Like, I feel like the e.l.f. one looks a little bit better because it has a tiny bit more coverage. I know the shades are going to be different, but you can see the effect is so similar. I mean, I don't really see a huge difference. So this is Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm just going to swatch e.l.f. now right next to it. You see like how much more product you get also when you apply it. I think it's also because of the applicator. Like the doe foot is so much bigger than the one from Charlotte Tilbury. So it does pick up more product. But when you actually first apply it, you can see that this one is a little bit thicker than the one from Charlotte Tilbury. So if you prefer something with slightly more, I don't want to say coverage because it's not a foundation, but something that's going to give you your skin a little bit more first impressions, I feel like the e.l.f. one is going to do that for you. The one from Charlotte Tilbury is just a little bit more lightweight and thick thinner but both of the products do give you that really beautiful like flawless glow yeah consistencies are slightly different but overall the finishes i think are pretty much spot on when you have them on the skin i mean they both look good but i just love that little like light coverage that the elf gave me along with the glow so i'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup i'm gonna do basically my everyday makeup routine if you guys have not seen my everyday kind of 10 minute glow up i will link it here on the screen it's so easy there's no foundation there's no bronzer it's literally just blush concealer and powder so it's like my favorite base routine right now but i'm gonna use the nyx bear with me concealer serum i have this one in the color golden and i'm just gonna put this on my under eyes because my skin is actually doing pretty good today i just got over my period so we are good to go i'm pretty much just going to put this on here just to cover up these dark circles and then i'm going to add a little cream blush like i definitely am going to be incorporating this in my everyday makeup routine because the skin is everything right now speaking of elf i'm going to go in with the luminous putty blush in the shade maui i have been so obsessed with these and this is like the most perfect everyday shade and i'm going to put this on both sides of course just for a little glowy flush on the cheeks. I've been really loving this makeup routine, like just concealer, blush, and powder. It's like the best base for the summertime. And I'm gonna set everything because I have to, because my skin, it's just gonna melt away everything. And it's so hot outside, so I need to just lock everything into place. So I'm gonna use the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. I just really like this because it's like a translucent kind of powder. There's no color to it, but it does a nice job at setting everything. So essentially the products today are kind of like my foundation or like my skin tint, you know, because I didn't really use anything over top. Just a little concealer wherever I needed it on my under eyes, but I want the flawless filter on both sides to be basically like the main moment in today's base routine, just like that. And then I'm gonna go in with a little baked blush from Milani in the shade Dolce Pink. This is just gonna enhance the blush that I have on and I just love the glow that this gives as well. I'm gonna do a little bit. It's just also gonna enhance what I already have on my cheeks, a little bit right on my nose. And then I'm just lining my lips with the LA Girl Lip Liner in the shade Coquette. And then the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in Mauve Lady. And I am gonna hit my face with some setting spray, and this is the Makeup Revolution Super Fix Ultra Matte Finish Setting Spray. I love this, this is really good. Um, you guys, this is definitely a dupe. Like, I feel like I don't even need to wear this throughout the day to know that this is a dupe because the proof is in the pudding. I mean, I know you guys saw how beautiful that finish was and that little bit of like coverage, almost like as if it was a skin tint that it gave my skin is so beautiful. And I feel like this is just gonna make my makeup routine that much easier because instead of even using concealer in other areas of my face, I feel like I could just put this on all over and then just put a little bit of concealer on my under eyes, do some powder and I'm good to go. So I really love the finish of this and also this is not a glittery product It's truly just a glowy like just beautiful glazed donut effect That's what it's gonna give your skin But like I said, don't get me wrong the one from Charlotte Tilbury is still stunning But I just like that little bit of coverage and like just that extra oomph that the elf product gave to my skin So I'm gonna wear this for the next couple hours right now. It's a little bit later in the day It's like 2 15, but I'll still wear this until later on and I'll check back in with you guys and let you know my thoughts but right now 
I'm very impressed with this product. It looks so good. So here is the makeup around 8 p.m. in natural light. I wanted to go outside right before the sun was about to set and I am pretty shiny. So I feel like if you have oily skin, definitely recommend using a mattifying primer. But other than that, I'm loving it. I think it wears really nicely. Hi guys, I'm back and it is now 10.09 p.m. So I'm actually surprised that I'm wearing my makeup this late. I'm usually like in bed, makeup washed away and everything by now, but I wanted to do a, like a good eight hour wear test with this. And I even got a good workout in today as well. I mean, I didn't do anything crazy, but I was sweating. It was hot and the makeup I think wore really nicely. And I definitely think this is 100,000% a dupe for this $44 Hollywood Fellas filter, which I love. But um, let me tell you, this is like honestly such a good dupe, if not even better, just because it is not as sheer. So it's going to give you a little bit more coverage, but it's going to give you that same beautiful glowy effect. And throughout the day, this feels so nice. Both of them honestly feel really nice. So that's why I feel like this is such a great dupe because it wore just like the $44 product, which is insane. This is such a versatile product that I feel like you could use for everyday makeup. If you're a bride, add this to your car immediately because this is going to be such a hit for, I feel like the rest of the year, honestly, you could do a lot of things with this product. Love the applicator, love the finish of it. And I feel like if I had to choose, I would say just go with the e.l.f. one because it's in my opinion, the same exact thing, if not even a little bit better. So let me know if you guys have tried this. I would love to hear your thoughts, or if you plan on picking it up, let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye!